Okay, fifth grade, lesson 65. This is on decimal parts of a meter. Now, I'm going to use a ruler to try to show you something, okay? So, first thing I want you to write on your paper is one meter. Then underneath that, I want you to write 10 decimeters. Underneath that, I want you to write 100 centimeters. And under that, I want you to write 1,000 millimeters. Okay, now that you've got that written down on your paper, what I want you to see is that one meter equals 10 decimeters, one meter equals 100 centimeters, and one meter equals 1,000 millimeters. So a millimeter, I want you to look on this ruler. A millimeter is that one from this little spot to this one, okay? So as you can see, from here to here is one centimeter. Okay. See that from this spot to this one? That's one centimeter. One millimeter is this spot to that little. So it's almost like the small of the, as a pinhead, tiny. I know, a grain of, just a small grain, okay? So what I want you to see is tell me how many centimeters this ruler has. 30. 30, okay? Now, when you flip a ruler over, it will do inches, which is what the U United States of America uses um, when we're measuring something. But everybody else in the world uses meters, decimeters, centimeter, millimeters, okay? So how many does this one have again? 30. 30. Okay. And how many centimeters equals one meter? 100. 100. So, is this close to 100? No. We're on our way. So, if I had two rulers, it would be 60 centimeters. Three rulers, 90 centimeters. So, I'm getting close, aren't I? So, one meter happens to be about half of a door. Okay, so about half of a door, about right here, is how much a meter is, okay? So, do you see how this works? Yes. Okay, now, the next thing I want you to see is this. It says 40 centimeters is how many decimeters? 40 centimeters equals how many decimeters? Now, I'm going to put DM for decimeters. CM for centimeters, okay? okay? Now, before we answer this question, I want you to see the pattern of this, okay? All right, now, what I want you to see is that one meter is 10 decimeters, one meter is 100 centimeters, and one meter is 1,000 millimeters. Remember we talked about that? Okay. Okay, now, what do you see is happening with my zeros? Um, each time. It's just adding another one. Uh-huh. Okay. So, I'm going to put 40 centimeters here because this is my centimeter lane. Okay? And we're wanting to change it to decimeter. So, what happened when I went from centimeter to decimeter here with my zeros? It got centimeter to decimeter. When yeah. I went from here to here, what happened to the zeros? It lost one. It lost one. So if I take my 40 centimeters and move to here, because we're wanting to change centimeters to decimeters, what happens? It just has four. Yes. So what's the answer? Four, four decimeters. Very good. You understand it? Uh-huh. How you just drop the zeros? Makes it pretty simple, doesn't it? Yeah. So you kind of just need to know this chart to help you. Okay, it's not something you need to know right now because as you work with them, you'll get it'll get easier. But that's all you need to know as you're looking at your notes. That's all you'll need to work with. Okay, it's just remembering your notes and what to do. Okay, now let's do this next one. This one's a little bit harder. Okay, it says Chad measured his height with a meter stick. Now again, this is not a meter stick. Okay, so we would need almost three and a little bit more of these to make a meter stick. Remember that? How we yeah. talked about that? Okay, 
So it says Chad measured his height with a meter stick. He was one meter plus 35 centimeters tall. And they want to know what is Chad's height in meters. Okay? So, how many centimeters does it take to equal a meter? Um... 100. 100. Okay. So, if it tells me that Chad is 1 meter and 35 centimeters, okay, but they're wanting to just know it in meters. Okay. So, here's what you're going to do. So, stay with me. Okay. You're just going to say 1.5. Three, five. And the reason why you're going to do that is because this spot shows us how many meters there are. Okay? Okay. It's not that important that you know this completely. Okay? But this is what you would do. Is you would say 1.35. Okay. okay? As you get older, I'll actually explain all this to you. But right now, all you need to know is this. Okay. Okay. Now, answer this for me. If I asked you, what is the most reasonable amount for a car length? Okay? Would it be reasonable to say that a car length is four and a half meters? Yes. Okay? Or would it be fair to say that a car is four and a half decimeters? Or four and a half centimeters or four and a half millimeters? I'd say four and a half meters. You're exactly right. Okay? Good job. All right? I'm sorry.